calls Turkey's Syria offensive an invasion. And House Pelosi on Trump, U.S. is no longer a trusted ally. To details, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi held a meeting on Saturday with Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madouli and Minister of Finance Mohamed Maid. During the meeting, the President gave his directives to focus on human and social development and to resume exerting the utmost efforts to lower the public debt and budget deficit and to pave the way for more investment in order to raise the competitiveness of the Egyptian economy. The head of the state also stressed the importance of reflecting improvement of economic performance of the quality of public services and guaranteeing that all brackets are benefiting from the development revenues, especially the needy ones. Presidential spokesperson Ambassador Bassam Radi said the meeting also discussed financial performance indicators in the July-September period of the current fiscal year 2019-2020. As Maid said, the public budget deficit dwindled from 108% of the local production in July 2017 to 90% in July 2019. In addition, to realizing growth rate of 5.6% in 2019, the highest in the Middle East, North Africa, and of the highest in the whole world. Radi added that the meeting also tackled efforts exerted to modernize the taxing system, to simplify the measures and build confidence between the system and the tax payers. Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Ghit on Saturday led Arab foreign ministers in embarrassing Turkey's military operation in northeast Syria as an invasion of an Arab state's land and an aggression on its sovereignty. Iraqi Foreign Minister Mohammed Ali Hakim, president of the current Arab League session, also condemned Turkey's offensive into Syria during an emergency meeting of the body called by Egypt. Al Hakim said the offensive will exacerbate humanitarian crisis, increase the suffering of the Syrian people and strengthen the ability of terrorists to reorganize their remnants. Al-Hakim and Lebanon's Foreign Minister Jubran Basil called on the League to reinstate Syria's membership in the body. Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri also said that Turkey seeks to escape its internal crisis via its invasion to Syria, calling its incursion an occupation of an Arab region. Jordanian Foreign Minister Ayman Asafdi also pointed their political path is the only way to solve the Syrian crisis. The UAE Minister of State for Foreign Affairs Anwar Gargash also noted that Arab nation faces unprecedented challenges and stressed on political solution in Syria. Meanwhile, Saudi Foreign Minister said repercussions of Turkish incursion affects the whole region. Lebanon Foreign Minister thanked Egypt for holding the emergency meeting and said it is time for Syria to return to the Arab League, stressing that his country will not accept any aggression on Syrian territories. Later, Tunisian Foreign Minister demanded immediate stoppage of Turkish aggression on Syrian territories. Sudanese Foreign Minister then urged all parties for self-restraint. The Arab foreign ministers held a closed consultative session at the Arab League headquarters ahead of the emergency meeting concerning the Turkish offensive against Syria. And they released a final communique by the end of their gathering. Here are more details. By the end of the emergency meeting of the Arab foreign ministers called by Egypt to discuss the Turkish incursion on Syria, Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Ghait and Iraqi Foreign Minister Mohammed Ali Hakim, President of the current Arab League session, held a press conference reading the final communique. In the final communique, the Arab FMs agreed to hold another meeting to activate more steps towards Syria gradually. As Abu Ghait said, there are a number of procedures to be taken to enable Syria to regain its seat in the pan-Arab body. Reading from the meeting's final communique, Abu Ghait said the Arab League will consider taking measures against Turkey in the economic, investment and cultural sectors and include tourism and military cooperation. He also called on the UN Security Council to take the necessary measures to stop the Turkish aggression and for the withdrawal from Syrian territory immediately. 
The Arab FMs clearly asked for an immediate halt to the Turkish aggression on Syria, which is considered as a direct threat to the Arab national security as well as international peace and security. The statement also fully rejected any Turkish attempts to change Syria's demography using force via what they call the buffer zone, considering it a breach to international law and a war crime or crimes against humanity, which should be referred to the international courts to achieve justice. The communique also describes the Turkish incursion on Syria as the latest Turkish unacceptable intervention and repeated attacks on several Arab states' sovereignty. It added that the incursion is a flagrant breach to the United Nations Charter and Security Council resolutions which call on maintaining the sovereignty and dependence of Syria, particularly resolution number 2254. On the sidelines of Arab League emergency meeting, Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri held a series of consultative meetings with his counterparts of Iraq, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, Bahrain and Jordan concerning the Turkish aggression on Syria. Shukri met his Jordanian counterpart Ayman al-Safdi at Al-Tahrir Palace as the two top diplomats discussed the developments of the Turkish incursion on Syria and consequences of this dangerous step on Syria's unity as well as the path of political process according to to the Security Council's decision number 2254. The meeting also tackled means of protecting Syria's sovereignty and unity of its people and safety of its land. As part of Egypt and Bahrain close ties, Shukri met his Bahraini counterpart, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. Also ahead of the emergency meeting, Shukri also convened with a Democratic Syria Council delegation to discuss the situation in Syria.